Hi YouTubers, this is my first video so bear with me, I probably I'm not good at this. Um, I wanted to show you uh, an album I made, it's a beaded matchbook album from uh, Laura Dennison at Follow the Paper Trail and I used Graphic 45 papers, the ABC primer and I got my um, inspiration from a whole lot of YouTube uh, people so this is what I came up with and here you see the the beads I used I didn't have pony beads once uh, Laura used but I found beads with just a big enough hole to feed a ribbon through um, well, here I uh, I just uh, let the paper papers uh, do the work for me. I folded the edge over, so I made it a pocket uh, with just a ruler from the paper. And here are some little post stamps put together with the bread which are all uh, ideas from somebody else uh, and a cut out from the paper attached with a paper clip and I, I, w I just like the paper so much that I, I thought uh, I only uh, did photos on the tags so the tags are completely plain just a little embellishment this is an, uh, a page with some photo uh, uh, puzzle pieces where to add a photo on the back and that was an idea from a fellow youtuber this is a uh, just a little pocket with a tag inside from the paper you can put journaling on the back or a photo wallet size and also on the back a photo maybe and again I just love the paper so just don't want to cover it up so another photo tag with postage stamp both sides I'm doing this video upside down so if it's not quite right just forgive me it's the first try uh, this side I uh, made a flip pocket with a cutout from the and I really hadn't time to make a right tag but this is the general idea and some tags in the pockets which I free cut by hand oh and I now see that the thing is out of Another cutout from the page, uh, from the paper. I mean, just a pretty page, and another tag. Here I made a with the same kind of paper bag. Uh, I made a a flip pocket with a tag inside that I haven't done anything to. And on the other side, this is also a pocket, so you can put uh, something in there. And again, paper bag with a tag inside. Some journaling on the back. And I thought I used this album to uh, to put in my own old school pictures. Uh, still have to find them and probably 
look with my sister and my mother to find some. Not a tag. This place was not really done yet, but the general idea was, I think, to put a flower here, and then I had a little book for either p pictures or journaling. That's why I had these small pieces lying around. But I wasn't sure what to do with it yet. So, and this one is also not attached yet because I didn't finish it. Oh, that's it opens like this for journaling or pictures. And another tag, which I cannot get out because there's a clip on. So I'm going through this page. I made a tag that swivels and a pocket with a ruler also from the paper and I made this little book uh, with more room for tags who are also from the collection and here we have that clip that holds the other so now I can get my tag out here I used some uh, piece of the paper and this is uh, one of the stamps and in the back I made a little pocket again with the paper cut out I had some lying around and didn't want to waste it so and this tag actually uh, yeah it, 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 uh, it made me think of my, myself uh, when I was a kid my sister and I was were uh, sleeping on the same room, and we um, always uh, we like to read. And uh, at night, when we supposed to sleep, uh, we uh, we sneak, snuck the light on and started reading in bed. And that's actually the idea for the whole album to put my uh, old uh, school pictures and maybe some pictures when I was a child. In. So, and on the back, I'm going to journal about uh, the mischief with my sister reading at night. And of course, being too uh, tired to go to school later. And on the back, I just made a, a band because the paper's attached right here, and well, this made a better finish. So, that's my, uh, my album. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.